Okay, guys, to make the caddy that I'm wanting to make, this was inspired by Mama Dares to DIY, and you will love it. This is a caddy, and I need it for my outdoor deck. I'm going to repurpose this wooden spoon. It's not exactly half an inch, which is what you need uh, for this handle, but it fits very comfortably. I'm going to use two of the Lowe's 5-gallon bucket stir sticks and four of these Dollar Tree paddle cutting boards and I have removed the handle from off of two of them. Now I'm using the stir sticks for my bottom and I'm going to be cutting these into two segments. Here's the thing, if you have another one of the paddle cutting boards, the flat one, you can use that for your bottom or buy a fifth handle one and cut the handle off for your bottom. The, I could not get any more. Dollar Tree was sold out of them. I had one in my stash, and I went to get them, and there were only three left, so I cut the handles off of two of them to make this caddy. Another thing you can do is you could use the baker's rack for your bottom. So, the idea is just I am giving you different ways to create your bottom. I'm actually going to mark these into the length that I need which where I've already cut the handle from off of this that's what I'm going to use to cut my segments and so basically I've laid that flush with the end and I have smoothed this off with a sanding sponge and if you use the sanding sponge to smooth that off that roughness will also give us good adhesion when we go to glue this and I will be using the Gorilla Glue because it tacks in five minutes along with my hot glue gun. And then that way it will stay in place. And then I'm going to mark this one. And I'm going to be cutting this off as well. Okay guys, I've got my four boards cut from the Lowe's Paint Stirs. And I'm going to use the Gorilla Glue because it also will bind wood. And I generally use wood glue, but this holds in seconds, and we want to go ahead and move along with our project. So you begin putting the Gorilla Glue on each edge, and I weighed mine down because I have a resin mat. Then you're going to flip it over, and you're going to place the medium-sized tong sticks on the vertical and on the horizontal. This thing will be reinforced and last forever it will hold up and hold some serious weight now once i've got that done let's put the sides on so the ends with the handle on each end do your gorilla glue place some hot glue and they'll get a quick tack and you'll want to lay it on its side to put your side panels in so you'll put gorilla glue on all three sides and then you'll just slide it in. That way it stays lined up as long as it's slid on the side there, or laying on the side, rather. Now, we are looking great. And I painted my dowel. And I'm going to show you a trick here. I am actually taking one side, and I'm doing a loop, and I'm going to hot glue that. I want to be able to remove one side of the dowel out so I can take and cut a paper towel roll in half and hang it from my caddy. The other side, you're gonna see me mark with a pencil, and I'm going to glue it down on the caddy as far as the rope goes to keep it from sliding out the other end. So I'm marking it here, and then I will glue the rope on, and that will ensure that one side stays tucked in and the other side is removable. So I decided to add some nautical rope to the bottom of my caddy to give it that real look of nautical out on the deck. I can easily transport things back and forth. Okay, so I have both of these ribbons. I had gotten this from Michael's and you can still get this. So we have the navy blue burlap chevron. And what I'm going to do 
and I am going to place this chevron piece across here. And then I'm going to take this one with the anchors. I love this ribbon. This is awesome. It is also burlap. So with the anchor and all. And what I want to do is I'm going to place a piece across here. And then I'm just going to lay that across there. So that I've got that anchor and I'm going to glue that into place. Okay, so since this has wire in it, I can bend over <coughs> the other one. But just for security, I will put a dab of glue. That will just secure my ribbon. This piece, I'm going to glue onto my caddy. Now I'm securing my ribbon there on each side, putting my little anchor ribbon around it and gluing it on. But right here I've slowed it down. I want to show you that I made a boat. And at first I took a medium stick and I cut it with my scissors and sized it up because I wanted to make a boat. So I took some of that drop cloth, the rest of that fabric, and I glued it on the cardboard to give it a firm stabilizer. And then I cut it out. Now I did have to trim these several times to get them sized up right, but it was necessary. Now once I get them all trimmed up, I take a wooden dowel and I took my needle nose pliers, cut it in half and cut off that little wooden ball that was on it. And I glued my sails to that dowel. Now my boat is actually all set on this box, which you will see. So I went ahead and glued the sails to the dowel and secured it. And then I took the pool Waverly chalk paint and I painted my sailboat bottoms. And that gave it that more nostalgic look for the nautical. But as you'll see here, I looked at it, sized it up and I thought, oh, we gotta put angles on that. So I cut the angles onto my boat and glued them into place. And yes, they are offset, but that's what made it look so awesome and guys look at this thing it's great i love it I just leave our caddy as she is she looks fantastic fantastic i am so pleased i am just so pleased i love it it is sturdy and it just feels great and we've worked on it plenty and we've got it looking so up down very very expensive looking and totally totally worth it it just looks great okay let's move on to our next project now we need to make some coasters for our outdoor decor so we're going to use this shelf storage liner one of the large spools of ribbon a marker, scissors, and this ribbon with the anchors on it. Now, basically, I'm going to take this rubber, and we're also going to need our rope, our nautical rope, from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to trace me out a circle from this liner. And I'm going to cut four of these. Next, we want to cut out four of our anchors. We'll need one for each one of our coasters. Okay, we're going to take these bottoms, and these make really good templates. We're going to start in the center of these templates and make our coasters. And it won't take long since this nautical rope is pretty big around. Now that we've got our templates cut out of that shelf liner, 
you just place you a dot in the center, take your rope, and start gluing it and folding it back on itself. But make sure you glue it at the rope and then attack, and then just keep going around. Now, I've taken these anchors, and I've cut them into squares, and then I've put little slits all the way around, wadded up with my hand, just kind of rough it up so it'll have a little bit of softness to it, and just kind of roughing it there, spreading it out, and then I glue it to the center of my coaster. And I'm just securing the rope here before I glue it on. Now, making sure that it's in the center and just giving a little glue security, so to speak, there's one. Now, using the white rope, put a dot in the center and start folding that rope back on itself, putting the glue against the rope and then going around. And these templates will keep it from scratching any glass surfaces and securing it too. And voila, here we go. And then there were four. So I did two with the white rope two with the nautical rope and I just took and roughed up the anchor and glued that on. Now I have these ends cut off of pallets and they are just like rough cut wood of any kind. You could use Jenga blocks and I'm going to sand these down and make me some neat little things to sit about glue them together. I love the little blocks. Okay, I'm just gluing these together to make them more of a solid large block because they're end cuts and I want these to be like the thick chunk blocks that have the sands on them. And so I'm just taking these rough pieces, gluing them together, and then I will sand them down. So this first block I'm going to do in the midnight. I'm going to use pool on the next one. This is the Waverly. Now I got my blocks painted. I did this one in pool white in the midnight. And I've got the seahorse from the Dollar Tree wooden cutouts. And this one has a cut in it. So I'm going to see how it turns out when I paint it. Now I took my seahorse and I had to choose to use this side versus this side. This side's got that too deep a line, so I'm going to have to, you know, turn it this away. And I took the lagoon and just did a little bit of dry brushing just to kind of make him stand out more so. Okay, I needed one more piece to make this side of my block to makes sense. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking an ice cream stick and I'm trimming away little pieces of wood because I want to make this into an ore. Okay, so I glued that little bit of wood on that ore. That's going to go there. And I need to make it look like an ore. So I'm just going to use my paint markers because this thing is so teeny tiny. Okay, my anchor is broken. But I'm going to fix it. So I'm going to take me some jute twine for this. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie me a knot then I can just glue it into place I think I want it and I'm going to go ahead and cut that G twine also I think I want to put some G twine up here on this handle if I can get it to fit we'll see how we fare hope I don't mess it up trying to Trying to do this. As usual, waste not, want not, guys. So I'm gluing that G twine on that little ore there. Give it nostalgia. And I am gluing down this broken anchor that I tore off when I did my trial run on my coasters. And putting a little rope around it and gluing it down and securing it too. Now, you guys, this is one of my favorite pieces. And just in case no one's figured it out, here. It comes. 
I'm going to take my black Sharpie marker. And just in case no one has figured out what I am putting on here. I am going to put... Better seahorse, you're my anchor. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think I like those pretty good. We've now reached the end of our DIY for today. These wonderfully three coastal projects with the nautical theme as I love. You guys be sure to check out Mama Dares the DIY and see her caddy. This is the uptake on her caddy, my rendition, and I needed one more solid so I can carry it back and forth on my deck update. As you know, this is one in the series of that deck update and Coastal Nautical themed. You guys be sure to hit the bell to subscribe to this channel, receive notifications of new videos, especially the ones in this series. Hit that like, I really appreciate it. Share this with a family or friend. Check me out on Facebook and on Instagram. Until the next DIY, this is Elizabeth. Over now. Bye guys.